So I think I've come to the realization that in order to become a street scooter rider, you have to wear a beanie, baggy pants, and some high top Converse. Thank you, you too. How's it going? Are there sprinkles on my seat? There's actual sprinkles on my seat. I don't even like sprinkles. Where do these sprinkles come from? Food check, vibe check, double smoked bacon sandwich. There you go. Down the hatch. Wait, I haven't had a Starbucks sandwich in so long. This is going ballistic. Mm, mm, mm. This is probably just me, but sometimes when I'm having a meal, don't get me wrong, I want to feel full after I'm done eating, but I don't want to eat it because it takes so much time. I just want to get to my activity, you know what I mean? Anyways, what's good to YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Not only do I become a street scooter rider today, but I'm going to go hit up this infinite wall ride that's attached to some type of school. You'll see in a minute. Other than that, we have a new drink today. Ice Grande Pumpkin Cream Cold Chai. Pumpkin Chai Cold. First of all, I hate chai. Oh my gosh, that has got to be the best thing I've ever had at Starbucks. I think I've yapped for quite a long time now and I got ice all over myself. We're going to go ahead to the infinite wall ride and then we'll become street later on in the video. But first, infinite wall ride. Scratch that after further inspecting this drink. Ugh, I don't think I like it anymore. Also, it might be because I am highly lactose. Also, we are here. Okay, it starts all the way down here and then goes all the way to the very end of this street. That's insane. Let me go check a look at this thing real quick. So basically the only obstacle is you have to jump up this curb, but you have a smooth transition right down there. So you're pretty much chilling. You only have to jump once. I've been to other street spots very similar to this. Not as long, obviously, but you have to jump up this, but then there's like a gap like this high that you have to jump again in order to get to the wall ride itself or bank. But I'm stoked to be here. It's my first time riding this, let's go. Thankfully, the street's not very busy either. It gets wider up here. Oh, I'm super excited because it's very mellow and super short scale length here. But then as you get all the way down there, it gets very, very steep. But obviously we're gonna start on the shorter side. Dude, this is nice, like really nice. Now, being that it's connected to a school, I'm not sure how strict they are with me riding here. Let's just cruise it real quick. Should we go all the way to the end? Oh, dude, this is so fun. You get so much speed. Oh my gosh, it's really steep right here. Oh. This side is more of like a wall, like a straight up wall ride. Like, look at this. Like the back part of this is no joke. It's so steep. I found this street spot the other day as I was passing down the main road. So I thought I'd hit this up eventually. There's a hole in the fence. What the heck? <gasps> Ooh, brother. I don't think bro's supposed to be here. Oh, never mind. He's dead. My bad. I was like, he's just chilling in the sun. Nah, he, he I think he died in the sun. I moved over just a little bit to the right to get to more of the steeper section of this ramp or obstacle. I'm thinking we do a bri flip, maybe a whip front, and possibly let's do an inward. Okay, first try. Ah, there we go. <laughs> All right, on to the next location. Just made it here to Silver Creek Park. There was absolutely nobody here. So let's test out this new street scooter in peace. Speaking of, I haven't even showed you what this thing looks like. Jesse Carter, Mad Gear scooter deck. Check it out. It's beautiful. Looking super nice. Woodward X Proto Wheels, Ethic Legion Fork. I think it's an Urban Art SES clamps. NV Thermal Bars, Fasten Grips. And that's the scooter. Is it dialed? Not really. But dude, this thing is like actually the most street scooter I've ever had in my life. Like this is the most real street scooter I've ever had. Let's test it out. <laughs> dude, this rail needs to be longer. I'm not gonna lie. Forward slide. 
Am I street guys with like what? Did I even show you guys my fit? So I guess you could say I'm semi comfortable with board slides, but I am kind of terrible at front side board slides. Oh, there we go. I'm not comfortable with them. I'm comfortable with throwing board slides, not very comfortable with throwing front side board slides. So let's see if we can get a little bit better at these today. See, now that felt really good. I felt like I knew exactly what I was doing. I was locked in in the middle of the deck. See, now that was like very different feeling. I don't know if there's like a trick to this. I mean, there's definitely a trick to it. I just don't know it yet. See, I'm landing really sideways and that's not what I want. Dude, I got stuck right there. No way. Oh, that sucks. Brother. I can't even make that up. Oh. oh my God. Oh my goodness. That was first try. <laughs> Dude, that 100% counts. Now that was me becoming a street scooter rider for the day. Look at all the damage I did. Do you see this? All of this just doesn't spawn in from one day of street scooter riding. Like, come on. So if you guys did end up enjoying this style of content where I check out street spots or I ride a street scooter, please comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see more of and I will be sure to read through all of the comments like I usually do and get as many of them done as I can for you guys. I think we should get one more trick in and call it a video. Let's get it done. Here we go. Let's go. Thanks for watching.